This is what your mother was keeping you from. Your birthright. How do you do, Uncle? Yesterday I learned of your existence, and now here you are. Where did Mrs. Quigley find you? Her mother had taken her to the Wells brothel. Good God, she could have ruined you. But here she is. Safe and sound. Well. <laughs> First, you must try some of these delicious fancies. And <laughs> you will forgive me for one moment. You will soon see my gratitude. Ah. Uh, I have a request about Charlotte. Don't throw her on a bonfire. Not yet. You want her spared? She's suffering. I like her alive when she suffers. Did your mother ever make mention of your father? <clears throat> she said that his name is a secret that she'll take to the grave. She seems so calm and rational. Yes. That is a mask that has been slipping for some time. He'll try in every way to undermine me. He's taken my strength since I was younger than you. Calm yourself. Hmm? Let me help you. You can't help anyone, Harcourt. Lord Fallon has betrayed you. What nonsense is this? He was caught trying to murder his witness by angry, vengeful women. He spewed out your name in return for his life. Hmm. Is he arrested? Worse. The women have him. And they won't give him up until he signs a full confession. Sophia, let's go into the house. Stay. Learn for yourself what kind of man this is. Fallon's named you leader of a brotherhood whose charming business is slaying and despoiling girls. This is a monstrous fantasy. I know where they're holding him. Sign over my fortune and full keeping of my child and I might tell you. Where is Fallon? I want our house in St. James's, where you'll never come near us. And your signed assurance that no harm will ever come to Charlotte Wells. Very well. If I hated you, I'd let you fall. But I cannot, because you are my brother. God damn you. 